Hello, this is Bullet, aka the Passive Aggressive Sherpa. In today's video, we're taking a look at the weekly reset. As usual, there's a lot to cover, so let's get started. First up, faction rallies are back again. I thought there was only going to be three this season, but here we are with another one. Don't know who I'll be pledging to this time. Probably future Warcult, so I can get the Sunshot Catalyst. Not that I really ever used the Sunshot, but I saw a video where that thing was just shitting orbs. But I don't know at this point. Oh, and to save us some time, so we don't have to go to each vendor, the main stuff is still the same. Each one is offering a different catalyst. Dead Orbit has one for the Graviton Lance. Future War Cult has one for the Sunshot. And New Monarchy is still offering the same one for Sweet Business. Okay, on to the weekly milestones. First up, Nightfall. Complete the weekly Nightfall strike for Powerful Gear. Clan XP. Earn Clan XP and Strikes, Raids, the Crucible, or World Activities for Powerful Gear. Leviathan. Complete any raid or raid lair for powerful gear. Call to arms. Win glory by participating in crucible matches for powerful gear. Flashpoint Nessus. Complete public events on Nessus for powerful gear. Heroic strikes. Complete three heroic strikes for powerful gear. And then choose a faction. Or don't. I don't really care. First up, Nightfall. It's Savathun's song. The strike challenges are unbroken. Complete the Nightfall with fewer than three deaths. And the best defense. Shoot down 15 of its projectiles before defeating Savathun's song. Moving on to the raid, Leviathan. The raid challenges are the Proving. Complete every trial Callus has sent before you. The Labyrinth. Loot three of Callus's gifts in the underbelly of the Leviathan. The Throne. Discover the hidden victory condition in the Throne Encounter. Up next, the Baby Raid, Eater of Worlds. The raid challenges are Clean Sweep. Clear each major encounter in the Leviathan Eater of Worlds raid lair. Moments of Power. Generate orbs multiple times. The big numbers. Get precision kills. On to the other baby raid, Spire of Stars. And the raid challenges are Mine, All Mine. Complete every major encounter in the raid lair, Leviathan, Spire of Stars. Fistful of Light. Generate orbs of light in this activity. Random Element. Get kills with elemental damage in this activity. Up next, Crucible stuff, we have Quick Play, yay! Doubles, eh. Private Match, eh. Competitive, boring. On to the Heroic Strikes playlist, and this week's modifier, main modifier, is Void Singe. Then we've got Blackout Enemy, Melee Attacks are Fatal, and Radar is Disabled. That's a tough one, but we make up for it with heavyweight. Power weapons deal more damage and more ammo is available. I love this. It's time to melt bosses. All right, moving on to Ikora's meditations. We have Fury. Help Ikora use the Vanguard on Io to learn more about the Almighty and turn the tide of the war. Sacrilege. Since the loss of her light, Ikora has many questions, and she's not leaving Io without answers. The Gateway. Osiris's damaged ghost appeared on Mercury, along with a Vex army that can't be a coincidence. And finally, we have Offworld Recovery. You need something to draw out Zol. A fragment of the Traveler has been located in the EDZ. Recover it. Now let's take a quick look at Banshee's inventory. The first three things stay the same. The last three things change daily, so if you don't see something you like, come back tomorrow. Alright, moving on to Tess Everest and the Spasmatic Matrix. Once again, I have everything. Kind of sad. This is an awesome sparrow. I like it. I use it, I think, on my warlock. 
Then we have this. I don't ever use, but I got it anyways because that's how I roll. And then we have some regular things and an and a emote that's kind of boring. A ghost that's probably useless because you've probably got... You probably delete them as soon as you get them. A average ship. A below average sparrow. Another below average sparrow. And then this is okay. I don't use it, but it is what it is. Another one I don't use. I see people use this a lot. It does nothing for me. I love this emote. I don't often use it, but I have used it. And then a sparrow. Uh, eh? Another ship that we've seen a thousand times. A smaller ship that I just think looks silly. Another ghost that nobody probably needs. I kind of like the way uh, this looks. I'm kind of digging on that. Uh, ornament for the hunter. Eh. I use this. I actually like the way the weapon looks without it, but I got it just because I don't know. We got a cheap transmat effect, a good transmat effect, and then some shaders. This isn't too bad looking. This, uh, uh, not, not bad. Uh, not, not digging that one. Now this one would look okay if it didn't have that ugly ass green color in it. And these, I made a video about them. They're somewhat useful maybe. But the fire team medallions, I cannot do without. And I will leave you with Cade and his treasure maps going to be sad to see these go and that's about it for the weekly reset remember if you like this video maybe hit that like button and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and if we could get 1187 likes on this video that'd be great but most of all thanks for watching